Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about how you defeat the coronavirus of this game which is Yatsunakami, some tips and tricks. So let's get started. So when it comes to Yatsunakami, he is by far much more difficult than the previous two bosses which are Mizuki and Ernana. So what you guys want to do with him is that when he puts his hands to the ground, that it gives you an opportunity to attack him. Uh, ideally, you want to attack his hands because you want to cut his hands off. As you can see here, his hands have a different HP than the, himself. Because these hands later on in the dark roam mode are going to become individual targets. So they're going to get de-attached from his body. So you want to get rid of them during the normal mode. So it will be better for you to deal with him. And once also you want to dodge these um, sword things that he throws it out. So as you can see, I'm going to cut his hand off and now what you're going to do is that he's not going to put his hand anymore into the ground. So he's going to do two things. He's going to do one, this one, and then he's going to come to you. You just stay there and attack. That's it. You just stay there and attack. He's going to throw another, uh, what you call, a uh, projectile, maybe this one again or a poison. And then he's going to come automatically to you and you attack him. That's it. And, and you go back. So you cut his hands off and then you let him throw a projectile and then automatically he's gonna come to you and you want to aim for his um, golden thing to make sure that you can also reduce his sky power and also for this mission I'm gonna recommend you using a very um, heavy weapon not a light one because you're not gonna attack often so whenever you do attack you want to make sure that it's a very critical attack it has a lot of damage in it uh, to make sure that the moment you get to the opportunity to get attacked is worth it so you keep doing that until you get to the rom the dark rom mode uh, once you reach the dark rom mode you're basically it's the same process just one make sure that in the dark rom mode you can have an additional target in his hands so you want to move a lot and try to survive and attack less so in the dark rom mode he's going to do the same thing throw a projectile and then come to you. So you want to repeat the same process like out of all the three uh, bosses. I think that uh, this one, Yatsunokami, is the longest and there's a lot of repetition. So you have to be more patient than the other two bosses to kill you. Trust me, because one time you miss something, you miss the strategy and that is just gonna kill you in one shot. So make sure that you repeat this process. So again, I'm gonna repeat it for you guys for the last time. Cut the hand, let him throw a projectile, let him come towards you, you attack him, a strong attack, powerful attack with triangle, the high weapon, I mean the strong weapon, and then you go to the dark room mode, you do the same thing, he comes back, and you repeat the process. And just make sure that, um, uh, one big mistake that I used to make with this ball that I made was that when he goes with the burst mode, the red thing, you don't want to counter it with R2O and you just want to step aside because whenever you counter it in face to face you're gonna, it's going to take half of your HP so it's not really worth it the damage it does to the boss and the damage it does to you so the in and out are not that much of a profitable so make sure you just step aside and let him do his thing and that's it guys so I'm going to let you watch the video now and see how I finally defeat him and there's also an ending part so if you guys want to watch that go ahead and thanks for watching guys until next time cheers and keep watching the video
しい名は昔の女と出会ったあの日まではわしはあやかしを滅ぼすソハヤの刀を打ち砕きそれまでの名も捨てた刀の与える不死の魂なぞ少子共に誓ったわ人妖が融和して暮らせるよ霊石を集め横島なものの悪用を防ぐはその誓いを果たす